Hey everybody, Boris Schlossberg from BK Forex. Welcome to our daily Forex technicals for 2.12.13, probing highs and lows. Um, as always, past performance not indicative of future results. Trading Forex carries high level risk, will not be suitable for all investors, and high degree of leverage can work against you as well as for you. Before deciding to trade any such leverage products, you should carefully consider your investment objectives, level of experience, and risk appetite. Possibly exists you, so, so exists that you can sustain a loss of some of your initial investment, and therefore you should not invest money you cannot afford to lose. You should be aware of all risks associated with trading on margin and seek advice from a independent financial advisor if you have any doubts. Information, including commentary, trading views provided uh, on BFX4.com, should not be relied upon. A subset of extensive independent research which should be performed before making investment decisions. The information and opinions presented did not take into account any particular vision of investment objectives, financial situation, or needs. All investors should obtain advice based upon their unique situation before making investment decisions. We are not responsible for any uh, losses incurred on investment made by readers here, and we do not render investment uh, legal tax or other professional advice as advice is needed. Seek um, professional advice from a, uh, an accountant or a lawyer. All right, let's get to trading. My, very very interesting night of course obviously the star of the show dollar yen which took out 94s it went all the way to 94.44 in the highs in in the midst of um a late new york session on the news that um that basically uh u.s did not object to japanese further devaluing their currency to reflating the uh, the economy and, and, and stimulating the economy we've had overnight commentary from Aso and Abi confirming that they're very very adamant about maintaining both fiscal and monetary policy on, on a stimulative basis but there was a big big sell-off um in early asia on news that north korea uh, tested a nuclear weapon that obviously created a lot of risk off aversion but we've since then been able to buy up all of the um, uh, the lows. And that's kind of interesting. We're staying above 96 is here. This looks relatively bullish. Now the key question here is we need to obviously break the 94.45 highs. That's really the, the, the very key. There's a 94.50 optionality um, on the um, uh, on the yen, and if we can get further momentum, uh, it's maybe uh, Europe, maybe even early North America, in pushing us to 94.50s, then we're we're very much on our way towards the 95 goal. It's going to be interesting to see how the battle shapes up. As for right now, the 94.45 is the critical level uh, for the yen to, to break out. The downside, obviously, really doesn't come in until around 93.50, uh, which was the, the breakout level from here. Um, and in many ways, there's, there's sort of a very interesting uh, structure here because we, we tested 94s twice. We broke very, very um, convincingly through it yesterday. And now, of course, um, after the uh, the sort of profit taking and risk off sell off, we're trying to really push ourselves uh, forward and higher. We'll see how Europe does on the trade. Euro dollar, on the other hand, is very much range bound. Euro dollar is basically capped between 33.50 and uh, 34.25, and it's this this range that's been dominating trade ever since um, uh, Mario Draghi's commentary. What's interesting is that this range, in many ways, can breaking one way or the other way is going to probably give us near-term directionality so if we break down below the 3350s there's very reasonable chance we go to 33s uh, breaking above 3425s really opens up a path to towards 35 so um a very very tough to get involved at these levels but a break of both sides could point us in the near-term direction in the euro dollar in the aussie we continue to slide down aussie made further uh, fresh lows in um um in North American session, then we, then we hit 102.40 in Asia, probably off of the uh, North Korean news. Starting to recover a little bit here. We are definitely trying to hold the 102.50 level. This is a critical level to hold. If we can if we can hold around here, we could probably rebuild to 103s. But a break below the day's low, 102.40, kind of opens up a, a really a, a slow but steady drift towards the 102s. We're constantly making lower highs. Basically, the Aussie remains in a very, very negative structure, as you can see over here. And uh, until and unless we kind of break the 103.50s, the downtrend really, really stays pronounced um, in the Aussie. Similar type of situation in Pound. Pound really reversed um, its recovery yesterday. The recovery died at the 58.50 level, reversed very, very uh, sharply yesterday, starting to really hold this 56.50 uh, level. But remember, the, the key level here is 56.30. If we break 56.30, it opens 5600 and possibly a test of 55.50. Um, and we're just kind of barely holding out. The fact that we're holding underneath it, though, is mildly positive in the sense that we haven't broken to the downside. But, of course, Europe comes on and will tell us a true test of where we're at. The 56.30 is at the absolute key level because that's been a level that's been tested twice over the last uh, several days. 
um, and a break to, uh, to the downside on there really does open up the 5600 level on the, run, uh, on the run to the downside. For the top side, of course, we're capped by 5850, so it looks like a much broader range in the pound with a possible um, break to the downside as we go. Not much else going on as far as the crosses. Um, you know, Euro Yen uh, is obviously at, at the whim of the Yen right now. It uh, definitely topped out at 27. Now it's trying to recover back up above the 27 handle. A big run in the Yen, of course, opens up a move towards the 127. The sort of a combination of a move above 34.25, with the Yen moving about 94.40, uh, 94.45. We have this really strong breakout. Dollar Euro Yen again. Uh, Probably not a trade till, uh, until and unless we can take out the, uh, the highs of 127.70 uh, in the pair. And then lastly, uh, Euro Swiss had a little bit of a move in, um, in uh, North America, late North America. But the key thing that uh, it's interesting about the Euro Swiss is, of course, the 22.50 definitely held twice. We made a double bottom here, but the 23.50 is the cap. So a further, if we get positive momentum out of the eurozone today, we could possibly break the 2350, move all the way into the 2400s on the recovery zone. Until we do that, uh, it's still very much a ra uh, range bound trade between 2350 and 2200. So we have some range bound trades and others very very key at some very key levels, both on the, to the downside of the pound and the Aussie, and to the upside of the yen, and of course the euro trying to basically find its own way. That's how the trade shapes up for the day. Wishing you guys the best of luck and the best of trading. This is Borch Lossberg over and out.